I want to talk about guitar picks or plectrums and I don't want to talk about thin ones, thick ones, different shaped ones and how they make your sound different. I don't want to talk about any of that stuff. I'm not interested in that. That's for other people to, to, to have an argument about. Anyway, this is about something else. This is about, no, this is for guitar players that where, where this happens. You're playing, right? Here's the pick, right? You're playing. I gotta look at my screen so if my eyes are going weird. But when you're playing, right, the pick just goes around like that. It slips around like that. Okay, and it's really, 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 really flipping annoying, right? And there's all sorts of picks you can try to do it, uh, uh, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Uh, but basically, this is this is about slippery picks. Um, this is not about dropping your picks because I think that's a different problem. This is about when you're playing and you're playing and your pick moves around like this. You, it, it keeps slipping around because you've got slippery fingers, sweaty fingers, whatever it is, and it's really annoying. It really bugs you. You know when you're playing, you're halfway through a solo and all of a sudden you get to, you know, your, your picks turn around of there. I mean, one answer would be just to have a round pick, but it doesn't quite work like that because sometimes they kind of slip that way and you've got no pick left. I'm going to show you how to alleviate that problem. Um, and it's not drilling holes in picks either, because that's rubbish, it doesn't work. I'm going to show you a much better way of solving this problem straight away without any fuss. Okay, so um, <clears throat> here are uh, some popular picks that you can use and that I've tried. And, um, and they all kind of work fine. Um, uh, and this one's got, like, it's very slippery service, this one, so that one's no good for me. Um, this one has got like a kind of grippy feel to it. It's kind of like, I don't know what it is. It's just the way they made it. It's a very good pick. Um, this uh, Tooltex Dunlop, very, very good pick. Um, but they still slip out of my fingers after about, you know, one or two songs. I, you know, I get, you know, sweaty and they slip out of my fingers. So although they're kind of nearly good, because I can just like pick, put it down, pick up another one. Um, it kind of works okay, so that's quite a good one. So I'll just leave that one aside. Um, this one again, um, another Dunlop one, which has got like a grip on it, um, like a knurled kind of grip, uh, Dunlop Max grip. Um, that's quite a good one too. Um, yeah, pretty good. Um, this one is again, this is a, a Dunlop one, a Gator grip one. Uh, again, I'd say it's the same as the Tortex one. It feels the same. Fender, uh, it slips out my fingers. Uh, this is the Adrio one, um, the one you can see in the dark. Um, for, I, I like the way I like the way they feel um, when, when I'm playing. Uh, but again, they just slip out my fingers. And um, I thought this was going to be a contender as well. This is uh, an Ibanez. Um, let's get that in shot. An Ibanez um, pick. Um, but number one, the wrong shape for me and it's got this um, grip paper here which is supposed to grip your fingers well the, the whole grip concept which I'll come back to this whole paper grip concept is, is actually a really good idea um, because it still grips when you're wet but I suppose because Ibanez have like mass produced these the actual grippy part on it is basically rubbish it just it's just pointless i mean the idea and the concept is really good but it's just rubbish the actual surface they've used is just not abrasive enough in order to create that grip i mean it's slipping in my fingers now i don't that's my fingers not really that sweaty but that's just that's rubbish rubbish sorry open is rubbish so anyway i came across this pick here um which uh i think someone just Got a load of uh, spare material in a load of, mo load of <laughs> made a load of picks out of it and flogged them on the internet. And uh, it's made from uh, so it's a fiber board or fiber on or whatever it's called material, which is the same material they make, um, which Fender made um, uh, pickup bobbins from. But this is like one mil thick. And actually, this is this pickup has served me because I bought loads of them because they work. This pickup served me this plectrum or pick. Um, served me well uh, for quite a long time. The only downside, I mean, this never, ever, ever slips off your fingers. And the reason because the reason is because um, the the material 
soaks up your sweat. Downside is four or five songs in, maybe six songs in, it starts getting a little bit, um, I don't know, cardboardy and like it doesn't break but it just gets a bit too flimsy so you have to discard it. The good thing is you put it down, you pick another one up and you play that one uh, for five or six songs and you can go back to the one you had before because it's got it's dried up and it's back to how it was. So yeah these have been my mainstay for a long time because they don't slip around in my fingers. They don't slip around like this. Anyway where I bought these from, uh, they don't get them anymore. It's really difficult to get the material and get it all, get them all um, laser cut and all this kind of it's just pointless. So that's that's out the window. So uh, I went back to this idea. Uh, what idea? I went back to this idea, cutting holes. This was the best pick I had. I played with, I think, and this one. So I cut holes in them, and that kind of helps a bit, but it still doesn't solve the problem. You know, it just doesn't solve the problem. So I come up with this idea. So I got the pick that I like, but basically I put my own, um, I think I put a P, P240 sandpaper on this, this stuff here. And you think, well, it's obvious that's going to work. Well, not, well, it wasn't obvious, because the thing is you pick it up, when you pick it up to first of all, and you think, oh, that feels like really weird. But once you start playing, you forget about it, it's in there, and you don't realise how actually grippy this is. And, and I've done... Uh, Lots and lots of playing, got really, really sweaty hands, and it stayed put. It stayed exactly where I wanted to. And the good thing is I can still move it around in my fingers and do whatever I need to do, whatever it is the guitarists need to do. It's very easy to move around. It doesn't actually stick to you or, or anything like that. It just it just grips when you just need it to grip. And you don't have to hold the pick really hard. So, anyway, um, I know it sounds stupid, that sounds obvious, but this does actually work. The, the other thing I found was that... I actually thought, well, what I'll do is I'll just cut loads of circles out because I can draw around a one p a one p coin, uh, a one penny coin, draw circles out and put them in. But I found that the way I hold the pick, the circles weren't enough. I need to have I need to cover the pick as much as I possibly can, which is what I did, and that and that worked. So the first the first design I did was just. A circle in there and a circle in there, which I think's been done before. I mean, they've, they've been them uh, rubber. You get these rubber stick-on things, but that doesn't work for me either. So trust me, I tried them. I tried all that. Um, somebody said super glue it to your fingers. That that's ridiculous. Super glue is like like toxic to your skin. So please don't do that. So anyway, um, so these circles worked okay, but not as good as doing it this way. So this is like a full coverage, as far down the pick as I I could go, uh, leaving a little bit of an edge as well. Um, the, I need to refine this a little bit and leave a little bit more of an edge around here because when you're playing sometimes you can sort of dig in a little bit too hard and you, you, you catch the strings with the, the sandpaper and it makes a horrible noise. So a way to alleviate that is to cut that back, cut that back a little bit more so you've got like a bit of a border. But basically this works ladies and gentlemen, it works a treat and I am very very happy about it because it's been a bugbear of mine for a very, very long time. And, and now I'm really happy that I've solved the problem. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. And um, um, you don't need to go and find a manufacturer. I mean, if you want to manufacture these yourself, you know, I don't, because it's too much of a pain in the neck. But basically, it's very easy to do. Just do a few at a time. Um, you just draw around a plectrum, cut out what you want. I'll cut it out a little bit smaller, cut the end off, stick it on with some super glue, job done. You can put it on um, any plectrum you want really as long as it's got a smooth surface on it uh, like these uh, that's it okay so grippy plectrums um, you can use 240 grit paper or you can use P600 grit whatever that is I don't know what it is it just says 600 on it that's fine that's not so fine <laughs> stick it on your plectrum like I showed you give it a whirl give it a try put your comments in the bottom tell me what you think catch you later <laughs>